everybody, and welcome to the Bob Stoops app. I'm Brad McMullen, along with Hall of Fame football coach Bob Stoops, and the schedule has finally come out for 2024. The opponents that Oklahoma will be facing in its inaugural season in the SEC, and boy, oh boy, the fans can get excited. And it, uh, the SEC and every all the powers that be didn't waste any time. You got <laughs> Oklahoma, Alabama, uh, you know, OU's first uh, SEC game, but... Uh, that's great. It, it, you know, we've played them before. It'll be exciting. And uh, obviously, they've been a powerhouse here as of late. But uh, exciting for everybody. Yeah, talk about this schedule. Alabama, Tennessee, South Carolina, the three SEC teams we will actually have as home games. Then we have the neutral site game against Texas. I mean, that's a pretty good list. Isn't that fantastic? I know everybody's, uh, there's a buzz about it. It's exciting. Um, you know, I, I know I'm looking forward to it. I, I get, you know, the whole debate is, oh, how are we going to still be, you know, someone had said something about us going away. The bottom line is everybody in that conference, the SEC, is not Georgia and Alabama. Some of those other teams are very similar to a lot of the teams we've been playing here in the Big 12. Uh, I think the difference is just overall it's going to be a little more taxing through the season. You know, you're going to have some, some tougher games. Uh, not that we can't win them, but, but it's going to take maybe a little more out of you, you know, going through the entire year that way. Um, but it's exciting. It's fun. I know I really believe strongly that Coach Venables, his staff, will continue to recruit at a high level. And I think being in this league and once it gets kicked off, and these recruits start seeing the teams we're playing week in and week out and hosting at home, that it's going it, to, it'll help us recruit even. Let's talk about recruiting. I mean, I think this is an important piece is that Oklahoma is going to take advantage of being in the most popular, powerful, largest conference, if you will, in the SEC. And it proved it last year. They went six and seven. And they had a top five recruiting class in the country, and so too did Texas, also benefiting from going to the SEC. Yeah, I, I really believe that. We're always going to recruit in a, in a strong and good way. You know, I get people want to bring up, well, the state of Oklahoma only has so many offers or, you know, scholarship offers because of our limited population overall. But Dallas is two and a half hours away. So we've always, in, in all the schools, you know, in all the little towns in between, we have always looked at that as our home base as well as anybody. And we have a huge you know, uh, alumni base throughout Texas. So the bottom line, the fact that the proximity to Texas is so close, I think makes us different than, than some other places. And you battled in a really tough Big 12 conference in 2008, just to kind of bring everybody back to that. Uh, the highest point, Missouri was ranked number three. Oklahoma and Texas both in 2008 were ranked number one. Texas Tech went as high as number two, and Oklahoma State as high as number seven. And the winner of that conference and the winner of the Big 12 championship who would play Florida in the national title game was Oklahoma. Yeah, again, we're, we've been, I think, maybe the, some of those years, the, the teams that you just named have been a little bit underrated, uh, you know, overall. And, but we've had tough schedules in the past. Uh, this will be no different. And again, there's there's a, a lot of those teams I guarantee aren't looking forward to playing Oklahoma either. So in the end, it it all balances out. Yeah, ESPN recently just did a ranking on the decades, and you can go to ESPN.com to check that out. Oklahoma alive and well over the last 100 years of football. The interesting part in the 2000s, they had Oklahoma and Texas number one and number two. And the interesting piece was OU had seven top five finishes under you, Coach Stoops, in 2000 to 2010, one national title. Texas had six top five finishes in one national title. These are two blue bloods coming to the SEC. Absolutely. They've got rich histories, great fan bases, great stadiums that, that match what we're used to, what you're going to see in the SEC. So uh, definitely, there's a lot of, you know, strong history there with both teams and, and uh, you know, brand names. All right, talk about the away games at Auburn, at LSU, at Ole Miss, and at Missouri. Boy, oh boy, it's going to be fun on those road games. Yeah, it's fantastic. I, I can't wait, um, you know, to go to Ole Miss. Um, we've been to Missouri. That that isn't quite as exciting, but you know, but <laughs> Sorry, I, Tiger fans. Yeah, and I've uh, I've been to LSU when I was with the Gators, and that's no picnic. Let me no. tell you, wear your hard hat when you go there. 
and, uh, and I've been to Auburn, and that's a cool place to go as well. So uh, they're, they're great trips. Yeah, Ole Miss and the Grove, it will be alive and well. Tiger Stadium with the Sooners coming to town, those will be hard tickets to come by. Oh, it'll be really exciting, fun, and, uh, you know, something new and, uh, and re really exciting. All right, let's talk about the expectations. Brent Venables said, hey, he believes if he can tweak his defense, they can win 10 ball games, hang another banner, and maybe contend for a national championship. Your thought on Oklahoma, not just this year, but in the first year in the SEC? Uh, well, again, I, I, we were very close a year ago. No one wants to hear that. I get it. Uh, but the bottom line is when you lose four games by three, or le three points or less, it really comes down to a player or two you know, on each side of the ball, but probably, like Coach Venable said, defense didn't make quite as many plays as maybe the offense did, and if we can make a one or two more plays either side of the ball, but in particular defensively, we could change those outcomes, and that's what you have to do. Uh, you know, the year, I think uh, Brent brought up uh, the year we win the national championship, we won like five games by one score, and, and that's what happens. You make those one or two plays and now you, you're on the other side of that, you know, win and loss column. And then it starts to add up. And then guys get used to making those one or two plays that make the difference in the game. So I, I really don't believe we're, we're very far off. And I think the important part is staying healthy and depth as well. Yeah, that, that's always a big key. Uh, you know, staying healthy makes a big difference. That year we went undefeated. We, we had very few guys out the entire season. And that, that made a big difference. Any of these games more exciting to you? Is there one that you're sitting there going, boy, I can't wait for that game? Well, I, I think they'll all be you know, great. I think, I think the fans will embrace Josh Heupel coming back here with Tennessee. How can you not be excited about Alabama? You know, that's always exciting. So, um, you know, uh, going, going to some of these other schools, away games will be, will be really fun too. But uh, those two, I think, stick out, the two home games with, again, uh, Coach Hype will bring Tennessee back, and, and Alabama is always exciting. All right, bringing it back to the last season in the Big 12. I know it's so hard to try to keep people focused on the season that is right up and happening, but there's a lot of opportunity for the Oklahoma Sooners this season. Yeah, it really, they, they, there really is. Um, again, it gets down to them being as good as they can be, making those key plays, and, um, you know, and having a stronger level of consistency and, and – uh, but I, I believe with Dylan Gabriel back, you know, another year and more experienced in this system and in this league will make a difference. And I do believe that, that Coach Venables, Ted Roof is the coordinator and the defensive guys, the defense will be improved as well. I really believe that. Who do you think will be the X Factor player on defense this upcoming season? Yeah, it's hard for me to say. Uh, you know, um, you know, probably you know one of the guys they they talk a lot about is uh, Danny Stutzman. You know, yeah. in there, linebackers that usually make make the biggest impact. Yeah, it's going to be crucial for the Sooners to have a great final season in the Big Twelve as they gear up for the SEC in 2024. Remember, for videos anytime, just tap on our video link for Hall of Fame football coach Bob Stoops. I'm Brad McMullen.